And what I'd like to do is by getting the call started, I always believe in having everybody on the same page at the right time. So I just want to do a little practice with you. <laughs> is I want you to pick a number from one to ten, one to nine, say, and I want you to double that number. And then once you get that number, I want you to add seven to it. And then I want you to divide by two. So you've taken a number, you've, you've doubled that number, you've added seven to it, and now I want you to divide that number by two. Now, subtract the original number that you took from it, okay? Now, let's see if everybody has the right answer here. Does everyone have three and a half? Great, if you did, you were paying attention and we're all on the same page to get started. And I would like to really call this, <clears throat> this performance training is I will. I will. This is the year that you're going to go out and you're going to commit and say, I will do this. I am going to become this. And that's what year this is going to be, an I will year. And I'm sure last week, after last week, what well, we went over um, all the different sheets with the key performance indicators and the fast start training. Hopefully, all of you downloaded that because that's our roadmap to success. If people are not on that, let me tell you something. You're not going to be plugged into the system. <clears throat> so stay plugged in. <clears throat> and I have to commend all of you that if you got your key performance indicators down, I know what you're going to put in Sundays right now. You're going to put a number one next to it because you joined one of the Zoom calls. So if you have already set your goals up there, you're already achieving your goal in, in the week. So hopefully you're working with your key performance indicator sheets so you can subtract your success. One thing that I always say when people come up and always question us, and they question me over a period of years, they said, but my business isn't going exactly the way I wanted it to. So what I always do is go back to basics. Usually it's one of the basics that you are not doing in your business is the reason why you're not hitting your objective. And what we do here is we just do small things on a daily basis over and over and over and over and over. That's how you, that's, that's how you achieve success. And if you look at the newsletter, that's what Cherie put out today in the corporate newsletter. Follow those things. So it isn't just one thing that you're doing today or one thing tomorrow. No, we're doing the same things over and over and over. And that's why last week when we went over our roadmap, that's what we're going over and over each and every day, each and every week, each and every hour. So whether it's Zoom calls, sharing the card, three-way calls, uh, hours working with V cards, how many affiliates, customers, and are you calling your workout partner? What we're doing by coming out with those forms, we're de developing a routine and you're developing a habit. And what we're doing is because most people are used to what? Being told what to do in life. And that's because normally most of the people out there are what? They're employees of someone else's dream. And when you're employees of someone else's dream, they're always telling you what to do because what do they want to do? They want to achieve their goals and dreams and you're part of their success, not part of your success. So this gives you a little bit of philosophy behind of why we did what we did last week to give you some tools 
So you can track your success by doing the little things over and over and over. And that's what I like about what we do here. You don't need to be a pro at everything that, you, that we're doing out there. You don't need to know everything right up front. The nice thing about what we do is because we have a great support system in place, you have a support team that are out here helping you build your business with us. And that's what I like to call the program is you can learn to earn as you work in the program. And we've got so many great leaders like I see, and, and I believe everyone here on the call this, this day is a leader because you are committed. You've taken time out of your busy schedule to go out and make a difference in life. One thing that I really want to emphasize on that, on last week's training, I would, I'm just going to pick out a couple things here, is get that workout partner. I, I can't stress that enough. Because when you're sitting at home by yourself all day long, it's easy to get distracted. I, you know, a lot of people, I've worked from home for the last 30 years plus, over three decades. I've never gone in and punched a clock or have done anything like that. I've always worked from home. But I'm free of distractions. And it's so easy to get distracted. So what I would do is if, if you're married and maybe you have kids or you have a significant other that's working the business, what I would do is pick a place that you show up to each and every day when you're building your business. Now it may be the kitchen table. It might be in the family room you have a desk. Or maybe you have a spare bedroom, you have a desk there. Pick that area to go to work. Because this way it sets the pace and you're developing a habit, a work habit that you're showing up there. And let, let's face it everyone, turn off the TV, disconnect. Uh, you, you know, I very seldom watch TV. I usually watch TV before I go to sleep, and that, which is probably bad to do. But what do I watch? I watch things like a comedy show or something, a half an hour comedy skit. Because I like to end my day on a happy note. Have humor. There's nothing better than humor in your life. Make yourself smile. Laugh a little bit. Enjoy living. And, um, you know, but develop that work area in your home that you're showing up to each and every day, where you put your computer, your laptop, your, your uh, iPad, or your tablet, or whatever. But show up to that spot and, and use it day in and day out. You know, it's, it's very critical. Another thing is that workout partner. It's always good because... Here you are by yourself. When you're doing good, the business needs you. And you can share your testimonial with other people that on your, on your team, you can share your stories. And when you're doing bad, you need the team. So it works both ways. Always keep plugged in. I mean, communication is key in everything in life. Um, to have a significant other, a loved one, or a husband and wife, a family, uh, even, you know, in business, it's all about communication, being communicated with the people. And that brings me to another point here. In communication, let's not disconnect in communication the way the world has done. People, even though we're a high-tech business, but our high-tech business, usually people say be high-touch, not high-tech. But what we mean by that, what our product does <clears throat> is we put people back together and we're putting that back together because you're one touch, one click of everything away from whatever a person needs to do in business all in one area. No one's doing what we're doing here in the world. And um, we're doing so much more of that we're adding to the program. But 
there, there's nothing that replaces a personal phone call to somebody. I mean, it's, it's always good to go meet somebody face to face. That's why when you look at Google, when we go through the presentation and we go over videos on your card, it's really important to have a video on your card. Why is that? Because they see you, they feel you, they feel your passion because we become so disconnected. And let's face it, I'm driving down the highway some days and I look over at the SUV. There's the mom in the front of the, the, the SUV and she's driving and her kids are in the back seat and they're looking down. They're not looking up. Now, what do you think they're looking down at? They're looking down at their cell phones. And believe it or not, the person that they're texting is sitting right next to them. They're not even talking to them in the vehicle. So communicate with people. When you send out to join a meeting or, or do something and you you email them, first of all, no one opens up emails anymore. Now, I'm not telling you not to email. I use everything to communicate with people because you want to stay in touch with them. I'll email them, I'll text them, and I will call them. But nothing ever replaces that personal phone call because they feel your passion. They know how much you care about them. And that's what's really, really, really important of that. They will forget whatever you said and whatever you did. People will do that every day. But guess what they'll never forget? They'll never forget how you made them feel. That is key. It's all about communicating with people, being you, and don't go out and be somebody that you're not. I've, I've, had, I've been working in the industry for over three decades now, and I've, I've seen a lot of my friends go up and do a presentation, I go, who the heck is that? <laughs> they, they, they pretend they're a performer. Don't be a performer, be an excited you. People know you because of your personality. When you get up there and try to be somebody that you're not, they, I mean, they don't believe you. See, everything that you have to do is make it, do not make it come from the head. Make it come from the heart. People can feel that when you're talking to them. It makes a world of difference. You know, what is that saying? People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. That is very, very true. It's not about you. It's about them. It's about that experience. It's about your experiencing what, you, what you're doing when you're working with people in your organization. And it's also about the customer experience when you're working with customers. And when you're meeting with a future potential um, V card advisor or a customer, maybe they want a one card, um, whatever they want, it's all about that experience, what they're feeling. Make them feel good, make them feel important. Don't talk about, I, I believe in a lot of things out there is that. Don't say me, don't say I, things, it's we, it's us, it's them, it's a group of people. People want to feel like they're part of something. And when people get up there and they tell how great they are, they don't care how great they are. They want to know what you could do for them. So that's why when I go out and I talk to people and I'm trying to find out what I can do to help them because that's exactly what we do. We enhance the lives of those that we touch 
by helping other people reach their dreams, their goals, and their objections in their businesses. So what do we really need to do? You need to find out how you can help them. You know, how much money are they spending on advertising? You know, on brochures, on business cards? How many employees do they have? What is their budget out there? What would, how would it make them feel if you could eliminate the cost of business cards and you could eliminate the cost of brochures? And believe me, everyone wants to do the best they can do. All businesses do. They want to feel good and they want to be green. I mean, I'm green. All the cleaning products in my homes are all green. They're non-toxic. I mean, I try to use the least amount of paper products as possible. That's why I came up with this concept of a virtual business card. Because the business cards out there don't do what we do. They don't interact with people. They don't tell you what they what, how many people have looked at them and who has passed out their card and how many times they watched the video. And that's what's really neat. So when you're presenting to a business, find out how you can help them. So what, what type of things do you really do when you're talking to a business? Well, number one, one of the key things is that I'm just talking about right now is analytics. I mean, wouldn't it be nice? I, I walk in the businesses all day long and people are so open to what we're doing. But don't try to tell them what you have and you can do for them before you find out what they need for themselves. You see, what you are to that business is what? You're a problem solver. So show them the analytics. Like when they pass out the card, if you took their paper card and I passed it to my friend Tina or I passed it to Fred Koo or Angelica or Gregory, you wouldn't know if I passed your card to them. No, but with VCAR Global, you do. <clears throat> what value would it have it to all the business owners out there, whether you're a small business and just by the way, just so you know, we did write a program of 100 or more, but within a week, we're going to come out with a, you know, because we had a lot of feedback from you. We appreciate feedback. We are always open, um, always open to suggestions. So we're going to reduce the corporate program. We're going to come out with a setup fee, though, because it costs us a lot of money to put these programs together for individuals. But we'll come out with a program at least for 25 cards to 100. I think we might even go as low as 10 cards to 100 cards for a corporate program for a certain price with a small nominal one-time setup fee for them. Because that's where most of the businesses are in the small business. And who needs the help the most? They want the help the most because they want to get the competitive edge out there. Small businesses over the last decade has fallen back 14.2%. So we need to help those businesses. They need to connect. They need to be in the tech business. They need to be mobile friendly. So analytics is one thing that you want to talk to them about. People don't buy features. They buy things for benefits. It's just like when you go buy a car, you don't go buy it because, okay, I have the best stereo system in it. Why? Because you like the sound. It's not the stereo system. It how it makes you feel when you're driving down the highway. Or maybe if you had cloth seats, if you had soft, supple leather seats, when you go in, you just slide in and you relax. Or maybe the seats have air conditioning in them or heat in them if you're up north. Um, they don't buy the heater, they don't buy the air, they buy the comfort, the benefit that it provides for them. So find out how you can benefit the company and give them that feel-good experience with them. 
Another thing it does is it saves them time. Time is very important. I believe out of anything in life, it's really not money. It's, you cannot, you can replace money, you can replace stuff, but you can never replace time. It's impossible. That second that just went by, you can't have it anymore. It is gone. So time is very precious. So if you can show a business or an individual how you can save them time, that's a reason why they're going to purchase the card from you. Also, money. I mean, let's face it. A lot of businesses, you can be focused on vision and everything, but let's face it. If you're not increasing the bottom line, you're not going to be in business for very long. You can be a feel-good experience, but if you can cut your expenses, I mean, how great is that? So another thing that you want to talk to them is find out where are they spending their money? Now, where does the business spend money? It spends money on advertising. It spends money on business cards. They spend money on brochures. They spend money on advertising. And, and what's that called? It's called customer acquisition. And that's their biggest cost out there for any business. So if you can reduce the cost of acquisition for their customers, it is huge. But you know it's even bigger than that? It's called retention. Staying in touch with your customers with all your up-to-date information is more important to them because getting a customer, it's all about keeping the customer and communicating with the customer. And that's a big thing, especially in car dealers or especially in salons. People that spend and they go through employees very quick, they walk out with their databases every time. Every time they replace the salesman, they the salesman takes their contact or the, the person who cuts hairs or does facials takes their database with them. But with VCAR Global, you own the card. When that person leaves, you put a new name on the card and the person who has their card in their, their app, they'll have the new information always up to date, keeps you connected, which does what? Reduces customer acquisition which the company doesn't have to spend that much money on advertising, which makes the company not only become more effective in what they're doing, but it helps their business run more efficient. So analytics, benefits, time, money, we touched on up to date. There is not an up-to-date database out there that I know of today. And I've talked to so many people. In fact, Tina had a person that we contacted up in New York. And I remember this individual kept saying to me, oh, well, I have an up-to-date database. I have it. My people call them up every, every couple few months, and we make sure we keep the database up-to-date. Well, what was that person telling me? How many hundreds or thousands of dollars was they spending on updating and keeping their database? Uh, Stephen Ramadini and I, we go out and we meet people and businesses all day long with huge databases. They go, you need us, Alan. And I go, no, wait, you have this a little wrong. You need us. We don't need your database because your database is not up to date. If you use ours as your front end to your CRM, you would never, ever, ever have to update your database ever again. And I says, we can help you run your company more efficient. So you see, these things uh, are very important. So it really is what VCard Global does for a business, it's really your television commercial for your business. I mean, your V-Card does all that. 
So when you're talking to clients, when you're forming your pitch, and you're coming up what you're doing for people, figure out who the market is, know your market a little bit before you go in so that you're more effective in what you're doing and helping that customer run their business more efficiently. So another thing is, is know, know your, like I said, know your market before you go in. Where do you get more market share? Well, where do you get more, for more market share? And this is one thing that most people never ever do, unfortunately, is ask for referrals. <clears throat> you know, I always take a no and turn it into a yes. If it's not for you and I never hit them, I have something that maybe you might know somebody that this would be good for. I always third party things too. Because I, if, I, if I direct it right to them, all of a sudden they cross their arms and they put up their guard. So I says, maybe you can help me out, do me a favor. And they go, sure, everyone wants to do you a favor, right? They go, sure, what do you, what do you need, Tina? Or what do you need, Alan? Or what do you need, John or Gregory or Edward? What do I need, Bob? Okay. You know, and then you tell them, they go, sure, I can do that. I can recommend a few people to you. So do that. Go to um, meetups meetups, uh, go to conferences, go to motivational seminars. Everybody there that's going to a motivational seminar, guess what? Are looking for improving themselves. So those are the type of people that you want to deal with. You want to deal with positive energy people. They get pumped up. So when they get out of bed in the morning, they can't wait to wake up. They don't want to go to sleep. They get, they're thinking on their mind, oh, I can't wait to get up the next morning and get my day started. Those are the type of people. And the last thing I really want to talk to you about, there's so much, but, you know, always posture yourself, you know, properly in, in what you're doing out there in, in your business. Uh, it's, it's very important. Um, another, th another thing is, is, um, it, you know, learn some tag words on what you're going to say when you walk in. Oh, I work with an amazing company based out of Deerfield Beach, Florida, you know, virtual business cards. Um, what, what we do is we enhance people's lives or are you willing to take a peek? You know, ask people, are you willing to take a look at what, what I have out here that could enhance your business? You know, and then here's, here's a good phrase too. Oh, I thought of you because, and then fill in, you know, because I know that you were looking for ways to increase your business. I thought of you. You know, when I looked at this, I thought of you. Now, all of a sudden, that becomes more personal when you're talking to somebody and they says, geez, they took time out of their busy schedule to think about me. So these are just a few things that you can use to help you become a better you, to learn how to employ yourself, become best at what you can. Let's go out and make this year the I will year and make a difference in people's lives. And we'll see you all at the top.